Hello guys, my name is Khan and actually in this video we will discuss a stata command which is merge command. So actually merge command is used to merge data sets. So in order to show what merge command do, actually I will I have created some hypothetical data sets for you to show you guys that if you use merge command then how it will work out. So suppose that you have a, a data set one. So in this window, you can see as in Excel. Uh, and then you want to suppose this is the data set. Uh, you, uh, you get that uh, you get the data about question number one. So suppose this is a survey data and you have done a household survey and you go out the response for each household. So I have given each household a, dip, a specific number. And for each household, you have got responses for question number one, question number two, and question number three. So suppose one data entrant entered these three, the responses of these three questions, but another respondent have uh, entered in a separate data set the answers of question number four and question number five and six. And so, so as, as I've told you guys that in this example, I'm saying that two data entrants entered data set data for you, but in two different data sets. And you want to, because obviously for the analysis, you want both data sets to be combined. So what you will do then, but before going ahead, I will, in order to go further into detail. So as you say that I have household ID one, two, three, four, and then five is missing. And then I have six. But on the other hand, for data set two, we have uh, household ID one, two, three, four, five. So the household ID five is missing in data one and the household ID six is missing in data two. So what will Stata do in such case of scenario once we don't have, uh, once we have uh, household ID missing? And what does ID is doing here? Actually, ID is a kind of a tag on based on which uh, we will merge data set. Uh, so in this case, we have uh, one observation, one ID for one observation. And also in data set two, we have uh, one ID for one observation. So that's why we will be having one to one merge. So when Stata will be looking to merge data one with data two so stata will come to row one and will try to search for one observation which have the same id as the id in data set one and then it will merge so once you will uh, merge the data set the data in stata will look like this so we will be having so i will draw i will delete these observations so that you're able to see previous data sets too So, so after merging, the data will sets will looks like you. So we will be having household ID one, two, three, four, five, six, and then for the household ID five, there will be a row, but the question number one, two, and three will be missing because we don't have the data for question number one, two, and three in our data one, and. Whereas in uh, whereas in data set two uh, we will be we, uh, uh, whereas in for this household ID six uh, we have the question number one two and three data but we don't have the data for uh, question number four five six so with this I will tell you guys that what does it mean by master and uh, master and using. So, uh, so, so, uh, so, what does it mean by master and using is that uh, to delete these rows again? So so the rows which got matched exactly so we have one in data one so one and data two and uh, and also household id one two three and four are both in data set one and two that's why they got matched 
So suppose if you have already uploaded the data one in Stata and then after that you are using merge command to merge uh, data two with data one, then Stata will consider data one as a master file and data two as a using file. So the observations which are uh, which are only in using, which are in only data two will be uh, labeled as using, and the observation which is only the of by observation means the household ID which is only in uh, master data. I mean data one, it will consider the master data. So now I will take you to the uh, take you to Stata and I will show you guys that uh, how you can merge the data uh, these data sets in Stata. So I have already created a do file for you guys. So I have called it one to one merge. And I am opening that do file. So I'm uh, so I have already uh, placed my data set in a folder which is merge data. So I'm creating a working directory. And as as you guys know that I always create a uh, working directory. Working directory means that where the data is located. Uh, and after that, I am uploading the data one and. Uh, here in this do file I have commented so if you want to comment after so this is our code but if you want to comment after the code you just have to enter these backslashes and then after that you can write a uh, comment uh, so I'm uploading data one first so that's why stata will under the merge command this data the data set one will be considered as master data but uh, suppose if you want to comment uh, in the next line then you don't have to write back you can also write backslash but it's easier to just uh, do static and then comment and after that uh, as i know that there is one household id in each row and and in data set two there is one household id in each row so that's why i'm doing one to one merge so if I do one to one merge uh, with data set two, so I'm saying merge one to one, and then I'm calling what is the basis of one to one? Uh, what is the ID? So household ID is the main connection point between two data sets. So we have to specify the variable, which is the key point. And then I'm saying using, and then data two dot dta. So after using the data set that you are calling must have to be a .dtf file or a temp file. Uh, I have already discussed this temp file how you can create in my previous window, uh, previous video when I was discussing appending. But probably in when I will be discussing merge in more uh, detail, probably I will discuss it again in my later videos. So if I control shift home and then say control D. Uh, you can see that uh, there are four observations get matched. Uh, one observation is from master. The, the, uh, there are two observations which don't get matched. Uh, the one observation is from master and the one is from using. Uh, and if I go back to Excel, you can also see that uh, there are four observations which got matched. One observation which is from using only, from using. And the one observation is from uh, master only and this one we can also browse the data so if you browse the data you can see that we have all, exactly the same result as we have in Excel uh, an important thing to note here is that when you run a merge command stata automatically create a underscore merge variable uh, so underscore merge variable uh, say that it gives you a categorical variable so it create a match three which is a labeled variable but actually the value is three and so those observation which get matched have a value three those who observation which are only in master data in this case uh, data one and which the observation which are only in using data uh, in this case which is from data two and so this variable is very important because based on these observations you can drop or keep observations so suppose uh, 
uh, you are only interested in those observation which are both in data set 1 and 2 so if you you can only say, you can write down as keep if underscore march is equal to 3 uh, make sure that you always write double equal sign after if command so stata is saying that uh, uh, it dropped two observations so if I say browse you can say that now I have only a four or four observations which are exactly match and for those observations we have all the data for question till question number one to question number six uh, you can all suppose after that if you think that uh, underscore merge is redundant uh, you can drop this variable Another, uh, make sure that when I, because here we are just merging uh, two data set. So suppose after merging uh, with data two, maybe you also have another third data set that you want to merge with now here. So before merging it again, using the merge command, it's, it's compulsory to drop this underscore merge variable or rename it some other variable. Because when you run the merge command again, uh, uh, it will automatically try to create an other variable named as underscore merge and it will give you an error that underscore merge is already defined. So you have to drop it if you want to merge it again with some other data set. Another important thing is that here I have created a very small data set and we have in each observations we have uh, one household id uh, for each observation so suppose if suppose i'm a one creating an one date for you guys so suppose if i'm using data set one uh, and if i'm just currently browsing so this is our current data set one observation so suppose that uh, uh, our data entrant have uh, have done an error and have entered the household id data twice so we have the data twice for household six. So now if I go and try to merge my data with, uh, so I can show that stata will give me an error. So it, the stata is saying the variable household ID does not uniquely identify observation is the master's data. Master's data is the R data one. So in case in order to see uh, so in order to avoid such kind of situations uh, it's better to use a very very useful command which is duplicate report uh, and I want to duplicate reports based on household ID so if I do that so you can say the stata is saying that there are uh, one copies only the four observations which have only one copy no surplus and then uh, stata is saying that uh, there are two observation which have two copies means there are two uh, they are uh, and there is surplus of one so what you have to do in that case uh, so duplicate report is not dropping any observation if i draw browse it i still have household id six twice in my data so in that case you have to use duplicate report Oh, sorry duplicate draw household id comma force so uh, stata have dropped one observation for us but if i go back in 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 this the example that i have given you about the duplicate observation uh, in both the both household id was having the, exactly the same data when you are using the duplicate draw uh, command, stata will keep the only the first observation which comes uh, from, so suppose if your stata is coming from, uh, starting from checking duplicates from row one, row two, row three and row four, and then uh, stata come to row six and realize that there is a, a household ID six. And then when it goes to row six, uh, it also realized that there is an again uh, there is a household id 6 so stata will only keep the data of the first row and then drop 
uh, any duplicate which comes after this row. So, and data will all the data will only keep this observation, the first observation which will come from uh, processing the data from row one till row five or whenever the duplicates appear. So make sure that if this kind of error appears, you do you use duplicate report and then accordingly you drop the observation which is creating this issue. Uh, the error can also arise because of that there is any kind of duplicates in data two. So it's not essential. It's not uh, always that that error will occur because there are duplicates in data one. The error can also be occur because there are uh, because there are duplicates in data two too. So this is a kind of a brief overview about merge commands. So in my in my uh, in my uh, in my later videos, I will discuss a merge command with one to many. Uh, uh, one to many and I think I will discuss that thing in more detail in my next video. Thank you for watching the video.